But the fact is, you can get a lot of speed here if you want to think of it like as a clan arena map. Actually, if I did have any complaint about the map, is that it looks like it was made for a clan arena. And one on one is going to be a little barren. But I got to say, you know, Mega Health is in a place where there is there's a jump pad. But maybe the jump pad's a little too close to the Mega Health to really make that competitive. I'm not sure how I completely feel about that. I mean, that jump pad is right there, and there's one corridor leading to it, so... So that's five frags in a row, four Zymes, but really, the, the map isn't really in Zymes' favor here. I mean, it's all about the shots, it's, it's all about getting the hits in, and so far, Zymes has been making those hits. But I am really suspecting that this map is made more with Clan Arena in mind. Huh. It's not made for Clan Arena? Okay, well you could have fooled me. In fact, you did. But I'm wondering if maybe one of the weaknesses of the map... I mean, that, that right there, that, that's a problem. I mean, okay, I'm actually going to be breaking away from this since we're seeing an 8 on 0, but let's take a look at where that Mega Health spawns. It's right here. That's not so bad. It has two main entries, one of them being a hallway, one of them being a jump pad with another hallway, which I'm not so excited about. It means if you're down there, you know, I mean, look, you can rail, like, all the way to the L of that hallway. So if somebody's down there and they're, like, even at the plasma gun ammo, um, you can do a hell of a lot of damage to them. Uh, so that I'm not so excited about. The other hallway is, again, the one that looks all the way down the side of the map. So if you're camping Mega, um, you have actually quite a few options here. And actually, one of the things I do like is that this block right here means is that you can only be looking at two entrances at a time. So that does help that a little bit. But let's tune back into the match here. And Zion's is up 9 on 0. And Dodson does get himself on the board. But the open this year, you know, accuracy is going to be a big deal, especially with L LG, especially with the railgun. And Fairy is saying that this map makes him think of Arrowwalk. I, I don't. It, it does. I mean, Arrowwalk had more than one teleporter, uh, and the main atrium was more connected to that. Because what we're seeing is that main atrium, yeah, but it only connects to the main areas and to the other areas in kind of a tertiary way. Where in Arrowwalk, there's pretty much key entrances to pretty much every other part of the map. So there's nothing, you know, objectively bad about it. There's just some things that, you know, probably need to be improved. Uh, the space... Uh, I'm, I'm giving that more slack because it is Warsaw and you can't get these things. But a room like this, like, what's going to happen in a room like that? I mean, big wide open areas are cool and big wide open hallways can be cool. But big wide open rooms? Uh, not so much because your fight's going to be pretty much flat. There's not going to be a lot of, you know, geometry going on. Uh, Zymes does take down Dodson again, though. 10 on 1. 5 minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock. And there's Mega Health for Zymes. So, yeah, if you're the other player, and actually I'm going to duck out here one more time. If you're the other player, and I'm going to be picking on the Mega Health spawn once again. If you're... And I'm on the other side of the map. Okay, if you're the other player, and you're trying to rush in for Mega... I mean, they could be behind the pillar, and yeah, you could throw in the rockets, but you need to be, like, this close to... It. You actually need to be, like, right over here, this close to them, to do it from this angle. From here, uh, they can see you as well as you can see them. So there's no big deal there. And from the jump pad, well, you need to be coming up the jump pad, and you're going to be in harm's way long before you can be any... you can be doing any damage whatsoever. And the mid-room? Like, that teleporter? I mean, teleporters are kind of cool when... You know, they take you from point A to point B, which is exactly what they do. And actually, you know, you see Zymes doing what he just did there, is that you can go through the teleporter out to the pillar and then jump around to wherever you need. So that does net you some possibilities, but you're also really exposed there and really open for quite a long period of time. So if that teleporter actually took you to... Actually, I'd be wanting to see, like, two teleporters in this map. 
I've been wanting to see this one that takes you to, like, somewhere near the red armor, and also somewhere, like, below the red armor, that takes you maybe to a little L-shaped bracket. Actually, that would be good, uh, just right on the jump pad that goes up to Mega Health. Just have a little divot there with another teleporter. That would be pretty cool, in my mind. That would lend some more connectivity to the map, and you wouldn't know exactly where your opponent's going to be at all times. Because right now, Zion's with his map knowledge, and because the hallways here are fairly static, meaning you choose a hallway, you know, your opponent can know where you're going to be like 10 seconds in advance. I mean, that is a problem in any map. Uh, if that is something that, you know, comes about, then that is definitely not a good thing. <coughs> So the map does have some problems, but maybe some rescaling, and maybe some differences, and maybe... Actually, teleporters can do you a lot of good. You can take a crappy map, add a couple teleporters, and make it a lot more interesting and a lot more balanced just by, you know, linking places of the map together that way. More people will come if you put XTC in the water supply? What the hell, man? What the hell, Square? What, what the hell are you talking about? And, yeah, Fairy's saying, you know, scale it by, by 80%. And I can kind of see the, the issue for that, but even then it wouldn't really fix things all that, all that much. I mean, there are still some areas where if you're the, the flat-footed uh, player, uh, you're going to be eating a lot of damage. But it's still 13-0. to zero. Dawson has slowed down the Fragons. He's definitely developed a much more hit-and-run kind of sense. But again, the, the kind of room you have there, those choke points I, were talk I was talking about um, involving the items, you know, the red armor, just because it's an item, is a choke point. Because whenever they're grabbing that, you know exactly where they're going to be. But those areas are open enough where there's a lot of leeway to do the ducking around there. Now, Mega Health is better than Red Armor at that point, but even then, um, you can only do some nice unseen damage from one angle. And I don't, I don't want to say, you know, the goal here is fixing it. I'm just saying, okay, this map, not so great. Here's why. But, you know, the layout isn't particularly bad. And me, I'm a mapper, so I'm going to be the last person to say this map is shit, you know, throw it away, blah, blah, blah. just want to say, okay, even if this map does get scrapped in favor of something else, <laughs> and I think uh, Dodson's giving up the ghost. Um, uh, but even if this map is just completely ditched, um, Okay, I'm just losing my train of thought due to IRC, but even if this map does end up being completely ditched, at least the author could go, okay, well, here's some things that kind of worked, here's some things that kind of didn't work. Um, but really, I think this map uh, does have some potential in it, and if the author wanted to revisit it, I think there's definitely some headway he could make in improving it. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah, tits. Okay, so 30 seconds left, 16 to negative 2. I think uh, Dodson just saying, you know, he didn't know the map at all. And even at that point... <laughs> yeah, Dodson, his ghost has given up. Yep, and it's gone. So even in the mid area, you know, that pillar does help. Uh, maybe making the pillar a bit Three, larger would definitely two, help things out. But one. there we have it, 17 to negative 2. All right, looks like our next contestant will be Scratch and Sniff. called a vote.